there is value in struggle and we don't see a lot of people who have been successful who made it not come through a struggle not have to battle through um uncertainty and have to really knuckle down and, and work hard to see things come to fruition so i suppose there is we've learned that there there's so much value and that's why not many people make it but also i often have this conversation with god about well why is it so hard like you know because more people should make it right we were all born to do something great and we were all born with purpose and so it's sad and it's difficult to see that many people haven't reached their purpose and they haven't been able to pursue the vision on their heart because it's been so difficult perhaps financially physically whatever the challenges may be for everyone um, because they're all different but there is once you and i know from personal experience having come through so many different challenges in the last few years that when i get to that place of you know achieving the things that i've strived for i see the value of what it taught me and how it's prepared me to sustain that blessing to sustain that thing on my life and so i'm really grateful for the challenges before me and i'm grateful that i'm even in my frustration I can see some strategies, right? I can see things that I could do to help move some of the difficulties and obstacles in my way. Um, and I think it's just trusting that, right? You want to trust that you can also take or you have the courage to take a leap and to go forward and to move with those strategies, even when they seem uh, really scary. Um, but yeah, I think just remembering that if something is really clear on your heart and it's seeking you to achieve it, you will have a reward on the other side of, of that. And it's not until you jump off the cliff that you see what's on the other side, right? We can't mm. sit on this, um, on the edge and just wonder um, and, you know, ask other people what it's going to be like, because for everyone, it's going to be experienced differently. So that's where I'm at. And I think I'm just really processing that it will take or it will seem really difficult. It will seem really challenging, but there is reward at the end. And there's something that will allow me to fulfill this desire, this insatiable desire of, I want to give to people like when that really chases you. And when it like sits with you, it's, it's unbearable. And I think mm. often, um, for people who have made it and who have been able to achieve incredible things, I think it's that insatiable desire to give and to serve others that has not allowed them to give up that has yeah. kept them in the game and kept them focused on what it is that they set out to achieve and to reach that goal with it at all costs but it's certainly man it takes some grit and determination to get there and it's um yeah like you mentioned it's 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 a fight you've got to constantly be um, willing to take that risk, willing to go a little further, to do things a little bit differently, to not be in your comfort zone, but um, be really challenged. How can I do this um, differently and not thinking about my own needs or my own comfort or my own uh, ideals? Sometimes you've got to, and I think oftentimes when you are truly serving others and when you're truly in purpose, um, it really removes the ego it makes you shed off the ego. Like it just, it, that's the refinement, right? Because we needed to be able to serve hard, others wholeheartedly. Otherwise we'd be too concerned about money or we'd be too concerned about the self and the comfort. And I'm not going to, you know, speaking, you know, be engaged in speaking events or whatever, you know, day in, day out, because it's just too much for me or I'm too precious for that. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can't serve and be comfortable. Um, so yeah, there is certainly an exchange there to, to be done.